Earlier in the week, I posted a video about how ever since I corrected my binge eating habits, I seem to be misplacing things a whole lot less because it's one less intrusive thought I get in my head, right? Sometimes I'll come home after work and uh, if I have a work laptop and I'm about to put it away and I get an intrusive thought for a food craving and I need to go out to get the food or I rush into my kitchen to have it, it's easy to, 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 to interrupt the thought process of where do I put my laptop, where do I put my car keys and all that. But I noticed another life hack that I've been practicing a lot lately uh, to, to great benefit. Um, so I have a habit when I go out in public, say I go to a restaurant and so I need to charge some of my devices, right? My camera, here's another camera I have. It has a battery that needs to be recharged or my cell phone or my laptop. And um, the outlet is several tables away from me, especially in 2020 where every other table is uh, not available and I have to put my uh, stuff on another table to recharge and I go back to my table and I might keep reminding myself, don't forget whatever, don't forget whatever, and then I forget it. Um, actually, I had a funny uh, story one time. I was about to go view something in the night sky. Uh, I think it was uh, the conjunction of the moon and Mars. Uh, this was in 2018 when uh, we had Mars in opposition, and the full moon was nearby. Unfortunately, we didn't have an eclipse that was uh, visible. It was It was visible halfway around the world. Um, but um, I had charged four or five sets of batteries uh, and I placed them across the the room from where I was eating at a restaurant and, and then I um, kept reminding myself, don't forget the batteries, and I forgot them. And I frantically went out to look for another camera that I could put disposable batteries in because uh, I, I obviously didn't have access to an online store at that hour of the time of the day. Uh, it turned out well, and um, I uh, went back to, fortunately the batteries were still there, but um, the people at the uh, restaurant really made fun of me that I had charged five or six batteries and then forgot them all. Um, okay, and then uh, what else happened? Uh, oh, I, uh, I don't know if I lost the job over this. I had interviewed for a job one time and left my cell phone there and I had to go back to get it. It was for a tech giant and I thought the interview went very well. I didn't get an offer and I, I, I always wonder if it's because I left my cell phone there. I ended up getting a better job so I'm not bitter about it but it'd be nice to know if that were the case. Uh, anyways, my strategy now is if I ever have to leave something a little bit out of sight like at the restaurant when I have to charge the battery out of sight, I'll literally write down uh, what I don't want to forget, right? I'll, I'll get a pen, if I have a pen on me right here, and I'll literally write down uh, on whatever piece of paper I have, right? I'll literally write down, don't forget the cell phone, right? And I'll put that, put that where I would normally put my cell phone, like on the table, so then I won't forget it. Um, you would think that's silly, but that has really saved my life a number of times. I'm recording this in December of 2020, and you would think people don't need to be reminded all the time that they need to wear a mask and stay six feet apart and to wash their hands and everything, but it's plastered everywhere. Why? Because sometimes when we keep reminding ourselves over and over, we let go of it. I don't know why. I, I have a tendency to do that. If I keep reminding myself, don't forget something, don't forget something. Um, I had a funny story actually. So shortly after the battery incident, um, I was um, on my way to uh, a conference in Macau and I had gone through airport security as normal and I had a number of loose items I had to put on a se separate tray through the x-ray machine and I opt out of the x-ray scanners for the body scanners and I have somebody pat me down and while the security guy was patting me down I kept re reciting out loud don't forget your cell phone don't forget your cell phone don't forget your cell phone and the security guy was um, uh, so frustrated he said you don't have to say it I'll remind you and sure enough he reminded me so it was, it was nice it was it gave me a nice warm fuzzy feeling uh, that somebody understood that I had this problem 
Uh, but uh, I would rather embarrass myself for a few seconds than to lose my cell phone for the trip. I mean, because it was an important conference. It's something we have to pick our battles. Thanks for watching.